customary to pass on traits, traditions, and if you are lucky, inheritance to your kids. For some kids, a simple elf on the shelf Christmas tradition is not enough. So they take it one step further in their subconscious quest to be more like their parents. On this week's episode of Behind the Scoreboard, our athlete proves how important a legacy can be to a family and the school in which it was formed. Long before Riley's parents sent him off to LMU, they met in their hometown of Avalon on Catalina Island off the coast of Los Angeles. They were high school sweethearts who didn't let college get in the way of their relationship. They've been together for a really long time. She went to USD her first semester and hated it so much because she wasn't near my dad, so then she transferred to LMU. The couple was so pleased with all that LMU had to offer that they couldn't help but introduce their children to the institution, initially through one of the school's most popular sports. I've been uh, coming to the basketball games here since I, as long as I can remember, and um, just because my parents went here during the Hank Gathers years, and uh, they were actually at the, at the game when he, like, unfortunately passed. Um, but yeah, it was just going up, going to all the basketball games and uh, just being a big fan of that. And like, I would always run up and down the sidelines and like try to get people excited and stuff. And so uh, I've always kind of known I wanted to go to LMU. Not only did both his parents attend and love LMU, but his sister, Cassandra, graduated here two years ago. I got to take one collective my freshman year while my sister was a senior so that we could actually have one class together. So that was really funny. Taking the same professor was fun for the siblings, but playing the same sport has brought them closer than any of their other shared college experiences. I was a basketball and baseball player, and then I just kind of, I lost love of the sport for baseball, and then basketball, I didn't think I'd be tall enough. And my sister had already started playing water polo, and I had some cousins who were playing water polo. So I tried to give it a shot, and it turned out I was pretty decent in the water. I fell in love with it right away, and I just committed to that all four years of high school. Water polo has been his destiny since he first played in eighth grade. All it took was one meeting with the coach to seal the deal that he would attend LMU as a student athlete. I had a meeting with Locker and our coach and uh, he could pretty much tell that I wasn't really planning on going anywhere else. Not only because I was so interested, just also because of my family legacy. So he pretty much, he pretty much was certain that I was going to come here. Playing water polo at such a prestigious school has been a challenge for Riley, a challenge he has overcome by honing his skills and further developing his drive to win. As I've grown in my junior year, I just I, I know now what you know my role is on the team and what I have to do every single game. Riley learned the importance of being fast, passing and releasing well, and finding what inspires him to play better. What keeps me motivated is my teammates, because I love all my teammates and I love being there with them and practicing every day with them. And, uh, and the motivation to win. Riley is so pleased with his experience playing water polo and receiving an education at LMU that he plans to promote it to his future kids the same way his parents did for him and his sisters. I'm gonna, you know, instill in them this like LMU pride when they're young, probably take them to some basketball games just like my parents. And hopefully if they love it enough, they'll choose to go here. In the meantime, Riley can show off LMU to his parents who love revisiting their old stomping grounds. I just like to take them just to like Iggy's or you know like Lair and um, it's just kind of funny for them because it's kind of just like a deja vu of like when they went here. His parents introduced him to LMU but it was the great education, community and the water polo team that kept him coming back every year. It goes to show no matter how hard you fight acting like your parents, their influence is bound to shine through, hopefully in the best way possible. That's all for this week's episode of Behind the Scoreboard. Be sure to tune in next time and learn more about LMU's talented athletes.